I'm living proof that when it comes to BRCA, it's not all bad news. There's good news and bad news because cancer saved my life. Prominent Canadian journalist and cancer survivor, Libby Zneimer was recently featured in Vancouver speaking about the heightened cancer risk among Ashkenazi Jewish people. Libby told her story in a documentary called Cancer Saved My Life. I carry a cancer-causing genetic mutation. It's, I have BRCA2, and it puts me at risk not just for a recurrence, but for other cancers, other breast cancer, ovarian cancer, melanoma, and as it turned out, pancreatic cancer. The Ashkenazi Jewish population is uh, Jews that originate from Eastern Europe, so Jews that come from southern Russia, Germany and Poland. I know that the risk of carrying a mutated BRCA gene is much higher in Ashkenazi Jews. Correct, it's one in 40 Ashkenazi Jews carry a BRCA mutation. What's the significance of that? Well, it means that there's a lot of Ashkenazi Jewish people walking around carrying a gene that puts them at increased risk for cancer, and they don't know. And um, we'd like to see people choosing to be tested so that they can identify whether they are at risk, so they can do something to prevent cancers. Now, if I had received the news about my genetic status today, and it was the first time, that may have been used to determine what kind of treatment I would get. Without a family history, you don't qualify necessarily, depending on where you live, for a genetic test. In Ontario now, you can get it if you're an Ashkenazi Jew, but beforehand there was a research study that randomly tested people in the Ashkenazi Jewish community, and more than 50% of people who turned out to be carriers had no family history. You never know when that knowledge will actually help you. My uh, father was diagnosed with uh, a, an aggressive prostate cancer. Um, it was terminal from the get-go, and he had suspected that there may be something in his genome. Luckily, I'm, I'm a carrier, but uh, luckily I'm, I'm the only one, it would seem, in the family. So I actually have the ability to do something about it. Twelve years. I'm here at the start of a new decade, and it's my second decade of a survivor of two BRCA-related cancers. Thank you. Um, what did you think of Libby's address? Very, um, actually very upbeat in many ways, and uh, very private that she shared. So impressive and good for her to be a survivor. Does this gene run in your family, do you know? I won't know until I get tested. Over 200 prominent community members attended tonight's one-of-a-kind event, and Libby continues to bring awareness to the science of cancer. Here Junos, Fraser Focus.